We're still in Titles Project in the Titles 101 work folder, and now it's time to actually work on a title. Now, titles go typically at the front and credits go at the back. And we have all kinds of things going on here, I want to tell you. There is a lot of stuff in this area. General Entertainment, HD Templates, Kids Corner, Holiday and Events, all kinds of things. Let's not go here yet. Take your playhead, your CTI, and put it right in the front. Now, come up to the word text on the pull down menu and select new text. Now, under here, you have default text, roll, or crawl. We're going to do rolls in that from the actual stuff down here. Let's just do plain old text. So click here and go into default text. And this will open up. Now, the first thing that I see here is this needs to be longer. So I'm going to go to the edge and get that little trim indicator and drag it out until it snaps right there. Okay, so we've got that. The text is way too small, and it's not the right words. So let's do this. Let's get in there. Actually, double-click on it, and it will select the text. We'll call it Waterfalls of the World. How's that? Now, it's way too small, so we can get into it again and select it. I'll do a Control A, which is another way to select. That's Command A on a Mac, same key, different name. We come in here, see it says 68, and I can come in here and make it bigger. Now, it's not in the right place. We'll worry about that in a second. I'm going to make it bigger. If at any time you want to go faster than the drag that I'm doing, hold on the Shift key and you can go a lot faster. Now, I'm not worried about the number. I'm worried about what it looks like. I'm going to come over here. Actually, let me make this a little bit smaller because we have more options down here. Is you've got this button right here, which will take you back into selection mode. And if we have it selected, we can align it. Now, we definitely want it to be in the text safe zone. You won't see those lines when we actually do it. So we've got waterfalls of the world. If you don't like the font, change it right here. Let's try maybe something like. Oh, how about this one right here? Now, it really condensed it, so I'm not all that happy about that. We can center it again just by clicking here if you want to recenter it. But let's, before we do that, let's go ahead and go back into, oh, let's try Arno Pro. I like Arno Pro. That's a nice one. And let's go ahead and center it and align it. There we go. So we've got it where we want it. It's centered. We're not really doing much more yet. Let's go ahead and take this back a little bit smaller, something like that. Now, if we click inside the timeline itself, it'll reset. So here's our title. And let's move this down just a little bit here. Tell you what, let's go ahead and move this up on video two. Just like that. And let's see what we've got so far. That's pretty boring. I don't know about you. Let's do this. Let's go back to it. Double click on it. That's just the quickest way to get into the adjustment for it. We can change the style and go into some kind of interesting ones here, I suppose. Maybe something like that might be kind of cool. We'd have to come back down again here and choose whichever one we want. I like that one right there. That's interesting. That's kind of big. Let's go back to this one right here. And let's go back into text. And let's go ahead and put it back where it's supposed to be in the center. Again, it's still in our nice text safe area. So we're OK there. You want to change the color? Do that right here. We can animate this if you want to. Now, in animation, if you want to see what one of these look like, and you've got quite a few, you can get into it and then click the play button right here. And it will show you what it does to animate the title. And we've got fade in compress here. Let's see what that does. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. So what do we do? Well, we have it selected over here. We choose the one we want, get the little box around it, and click apply. That should do it. Let's come back out here, click in the timeline, and let's try this again.
that'll work a little bit better if we render it. But if you want to just add some plain old text, all you have to do is something like this. Now what about what's going on underneath it? Because right now it's black. Well, that's the default. What if we want something under there, maybe like one of our videos? I don't see why not. We could try this. Let's go back into Project Assets, and let's pick up maybe this one right here. Actually, no, let's do this one. That's kind of pastoral. And I'm going to drag it down onto Video 1. I'm going to right-click on it. Let's go ahead and get rid of our audio. Let's make it fit. Now the other thing, I really don't want it jumping in. So on this one, I think what I'll do is go into Transitions. And yeah, I'm boring, I know I am. And we're going to go into this one right here, and we're going to tell the computer that we want it on the left clip. One second. And let's do the same thing on this one right here. Center it between the clips. And click Done. Let's render it this time. That's telling us it's going to take a bit of time. So we'll go ahead and cut, and we'll come back when it renders. Okay, let's close Project Assets. That took about 30 seconds. And we have our playhead right here. Let's check it out. Well, that's not too bad. But we are only using plain old everyday text. Let's go ahead and save what we have. And in the next lesson, we'll look a little bit more at some of the features down here.